Hello, everybody. Welcome back. I'm Nick. I'm here with Lucas. This is our second MLB video on the channel. If you didn't check out the first ones, you should go check them out. We did our predictions for how the standings were going to shape out. We did the AL, we did the NL, and then we also made our postseason brackets and chose our World Series champions. Today, we're going to go over our Cy Young picks, our Rookie of the Year picks, and also our MVP picks for both the AL and the NL. We're going to start off with the AL, and we're going to start off with the Cy Young. Lucas, get us started. So tell us about your Cy Young pick for this season. Yeah, so my Cy Young pick is Hyunjin Ryu of the Toronto Blue Jays. Um, he's getting up there. He's 34 years old now um, in terms of age. Um, but I think he's got at least a couple more productive years left in him. And this year, I think he could be one of the top pitchers in the American League. Um, out in the AL East, he's got the Yankees, who are the juggernaut that I'll have to face probably a couple more times. He faced them already on opening day. Um, but then other than that, in the AL East, there's not a whole lot of, of dominant competition. Um, so I think those should help his numbers out a little bit. As you can see, in 2020 and 2019, he was one of the most dominant pitchers um, in the big leagues. Uh, he had an ERA crown two seasons ago. 269 last year is certainly nothing to scoff at. Um, one thing that I noticed that I thought was interesting, his hard hit rate um, last season was 29.8%. Uh, league average is 38.7%. So he's well below that in terms of allowing hard contact. He doesn't allow um, a lot of it. And then his strikeout and home run numbers are both um, quite good. Um, and so I think he, this could be the year that he really puts it all together um, and, and takes home that AL Cy Young Award. It's definitely an interesting pick. He's a great pitcher, but I feel like his name flies under the radar for a lot of casual baseball fans. And I think it'd be really cool to see him win. I do have the Blue Jays winning the AL this year, and I do like your pick, Lucas. I do. He was definitely one of my top guys in the AL, but I'm going with Shane Bieber. Shane Bieber won the Cy Young in the AL last year. He was unanimously chosen which is not as rare as it is in other sports for different awards, but it's still very impressive that he got every single vote. Shane Bieber is only 26 years old. As I said, he was last year's winner because he had a 1.63 ERA. It was a shortened season. Obviously, he only started 12 games. I'm sure this year he'll start 30 to 35 games. But yeah, he was definitely the best pitcher last year in the American League, maybe all of baseball. And I see no reason that that's going to change. I like the Cleveland Indians. I don't have them going to the playoffs, but they're not going to be the worst team in the division. They're definitely just a solid middle-of-the-pack team. And I really do think Shane Bieber is going to win the AL Cy Young once again. He was 8-1 last year, 15-8 two years ago. And he gets strikeouts, which is very important in today's game because a lot of hitters are just hitting bombs. And a lot of hit like today's game has really gone into hit a home run, walk, or strikeout. So... How he gets a lot of strikeouts is good because when there's runners on base, people who make contact are going to hit a lot of homers. And he doesn't allow a lot of homers either. He allows less than one homer for nine innings pitch, which is another reason that I think he just excels in how the game's played today. And that's why Shane Bieber is my Cy Young winner once again this year. Now we're going to move on to our MVP picks. Lucas, who? why Mike Trout? Yeah, first let me address your Cy Young pick. Um, I like to sure. pick, I think Bieber last year definitely was able to um, take advantage of the strange COVID schedule where he only faced central teams. I don't think it's any secret that the central divisions were not good, especially offensively last season. Both Cy Young winners came out of the central. I think he benefited from that. I think he's a great pitcher, don't get me wrong, but I don't think he can repeat the numbers that he put up last year, especially those K numbers. Um, and I think the home runs will take a tick up if you look at his career. Um, they've been higher for most of his uh, career. I think he's a great pitcher, but I don't know. I don't think he's the Cy Young winner this year. We'll um, see. We'll see. Yes. And then for my MVP, pick, I have Mike Trout. Um, it's the pretty easy pick. He's won three of the awards. He's an eight-time All-Star, and he's only been in the league for 10 years. And last year, obviously, there was no All-Stars. So he's been an All-Star every year except for his short rookie season. Um if you just look at his slash line over the last two years, I mean, it's OPS right near 1,000 last year, over 1,000 two seasons ago. He had 45 bombs in his last uh, full season of production and was worth almost eight wins. Um, and then his hard hit rate is through the roof last season. 56.3% is 
um, a ridiculous number. League average is 38.7%, like I mentioned with Ryu. Um, and then the other thing to look at with Mike Trout last year, because obviously he he didn't win MVP. It was a shortened season. Um, his BABIP last season was 300, which is, you know, pretty good in general. But for Mike Trout, since he hits the ball so hard, his career BABIP is 347. Um, I anticipate him working his way back up towards that figure this season, which will boost those, especially the average on the on-base numbers, even a little bit more this year uh, as opposed to where he was last year. And he was already worth, you know, almost two wins in a, in a way shortened season. So I think he's sort of the easy pick, the obvious pick, but I also think um, he's the right pick this year to win uh, AL MVP. What about you? So, yep, I also have Mike Trout as the AL MVP. I love Mike Trout. He's one of my favorite players in all of baseball. It's just so fun to watch him play the game. You mentioned he's a three-time MVP. He's also a four-time runner-up. He's got second place in the MVP race four times, which is just incredible. That's seven years out of his 10 that he's been first or second in MVP. So he's just the most consistent player. You know, he's not going to win MVP and then just have a really bad year. He's just going to keep being right up there at the top. If he doesn't win, he's going to get top three this year. I guarantee it. He's, besides being an eight-time All-Star, he's also an eight-time Silver Slugger. He was obviously Rookie of the Year when he first came up. He's been on the MLB All-First team. Like, I mean, this player, I, in my opinion, at the end of his career, will go down as the greatest baseball player of all time. I know you don't agree yet. I know you might get there one day. But, yeah, Mike Trout, you already said a lot about him, so I'm not going to take up too much time with Mike Trout since we talked about him a lot. But he's both our picks for the MVP He's always up there, most consistent player in all of baseball, and I want to see him win it. It's not like Tom Brady with Super Bowls where I get tired of it. I like seeing Mike Trout win. He's not on the best team. The Angels haven't won a playoff game with him yet. They will one day. Don't worry. They will. And I want to see him win MVP. I want to see him do well. I don't think anyone roots against Mike Trout. He's just such a likable guy. I don't know anyone that hates Mike Trout the same way there's people in the NFL who hate Tom Brady. So, yeah, I hope he wins MVP. It was, as Lucas said, the obvious pick, but for good reason. Yeah. Now we're going to move on to our Rookie of the Years in the AL. Yeah, so my Rookie of the Year is a Mariner, uh, Jared Kelnick. He does not have any Major League experience yet, um, but I think if you were to ask most people, and he's not currently with the big league team uh, to open camp anyways, but I think if you were to ask most um most experts, prospect gurus, whatever you want, Seattle Mariners fans. I think most of them would agree that this isn't necessarily a talent issue as term, in terms of him not being um, in Seattle, but I think it's more of a service time reasoning um, in that they want to keep that extra year uh, before uh, Kelnick is eligible for free agency. Uh, so he doesn't have any MLB experience. He's played mostly center field in the minor leagues um, with Kyle Lewis playing center field uh, for the big league team in Seattle. I anticipate and most people anticipate uh he'll play mostly left field for the Mariners um and then Mitch Hanniger out and right of course is why he won't be out there so he's only 21 years old right now um he's a consensus top 10 prospect in Major League Baseball Baseball America has him for same with um MLB.com and then Baseball Prospectus has him as the number six prospect in baseball so he's um there's no doubt he's got the the resume to come up and immediately produce in the major leagues. And he's 21 years old. It's not like he's a 16 year old kid. Um, so I think he can come up and immediately contribute to the team and, and help the team win ball games and ultimately uh, take home American league rookie of the year with what I anticipate being some fantastic numbers in his rookie season, even though it will be a little shorter than some of the other guys that are going to be starting um, right away from April 1st. And as a Mariners fan, you're going to watch a lot of this guy this year. So I hope he does do well, and I hope you enjoy watching him. But I'm going with Randy Arozarena. If you're not a big baseball fan, you probably don't know who this is yet. And you're here to learn, and you will know this name. If you did watch baseball in the past and you're a big fan, you know who this guy is already. Yes, he did play last season. And yes, he set some records during the postseason. So if you watched last year's postseason, he had 10 home runs, 29 hits, and 64 total bases. He is a little older. Randy Orozarena is 26 years old, and he is still eligible for Rookie of the Year this season. He helped the Rays win the pennant last year, and 
Although I don't have the Rays going there again, he was a lot of fun to watch in the playoffs. The numbers he put up were amazing. Yes, it says 23 games, seven home runs on the slide because that is his regular season numbers. But he, in the playoffs, hit 10 home runs, which is just unbelievable. I think he's going to be a lot of fun to watch this year. He was not ranked as high as a lot of prospects who usually win Rookie of the Year, but he's still a very good prospect. And yes, this is the guy who's winning Rookie of the Year this year. If you haven't heard of him, you'll know him in a couple months because he is so much fun to watch. Now, that's going to wrap it up for the AL. Those were our picks. Those were our Rookie of the Year, our Cy Youngs, our MVPs. We'll come back at the end of the year see how we do.